Turns out when you're sick, you are so much less inclined to vlog, which is what happened to me. I kind of went missing for a couple days. <laughs> As you can tell, my throat is suffering. I've been going to work, coming home, eating, and then laying on the couch. And usually when I get colds, I like truck through it. It was whatever. But now that I work for eight hours a day, And I got like stuff to do and meetings and stuff. We can't be living this lifestyle anymore. So, I bought cough syrup. I don't think I have drank or ingested, taken cough syrup since I was like a ripe seven years old. The only flavor they had was grape, which is just vile. So I'm not confident about how well this is gonna go. So I have my water to chase this down if I need to. But as you can tell, my throat needs it. I've been sleeping on the couch for two nights because I can't get comfortable in bed. And strangely, the couch is more comfortable. I don't know how that works. I have to get up tomorrow morning to meet one of our radio partners at an interview site and just oversee it. And I'm not looking forward to being out in the cold at 8 a.m. So, liquids. I just know it's not gonna be good. What if it's like juice? I like grape juice. I just remember being a kid and how awful it was. Okay. I literally can't, it's stressing me out. <sighs> okay, it's juice, it's juice. It smells like grape juice. I like grape juice. Oh, I should've taken that all at once, I hate it. Oh my god, I'm gonna throw up. Ugh. That was ew. It wasn't that bad. It was pretty gross. <laughs> At this point, it's not even my throat that hurts. It's the inevitable and rapid onset of death as soon as life begins. My sinuses are all clogged. <laughs> I have to get ready for bed, take off this glorious, beautiful face of makeup that definitely has not faded over the day, especially around my nasal region where I've been wiping it. Let's see, what has happened? Uh, oh, Red, White, and Royal Blue won two Goodreads Choice Awards today. It's what she deserves, and that's about it. <laughs> Honestly, I just need to stay home because I don't want to get people at my office sick right before Christmas, but like, a girl's gotta work. I ain't taking sick days when I'm the only woman in the department. Okay, for real, I have to get ready for bed. What time is it? Bedtime. Sick vlog. <laughs> Good morning, oh heavens. Good morning, nope, not many better. Usually I'm really nervous when I have to drive out and do stuff, but I kept having dreams last night that I went to the location and was talking with the people and it all went fine. So I feel like I'm reassured just by those little dreams. Even though I only had like five hours of sleep, I think today's gonna be fine, even though I sound like this. I don't know how I'm going to explain to people like, oh, I'm just, I'm sick. I'm just getting over a cough as I'm there in 30 degree weather, getting everyone sick right before Christmas. But you don't want to call out because your boss told you you need to talk more, participate more. And so you don't want to let him down by not going to a thing that lets you talk and participate more and take the lead. I low-key just want to put on the Polar Express soundtrack and vibe right now, so I think that's what I'm going to do. I doubt I'll update when I'm at my thing, but perhaps we'll talk later. I don't know. Let's get back to vlogging. For like two days, I was like, I don't feel like it. I don't feel good. Now I'm like, whatever. They can deal with my croaky voice. I'm just praying that my car isn't iced over outside because that would take like 10 more minutes and I don't want to wait. I showed up so I <clears throat> got out to practice talking so I don't sound like this. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, re, mi, do. I showed up to my work thing like half an hour early. Now I'm like, do I sit here in the car or do I go in and small talk for half an hour? Oh my God. <clears throat> if my voice didn't sound like this, I'd go inside. Also, I did my hair in like five seconds and it looks miserable. What is today? Anyone have any answers? What's today? So, I don't want to get like too personal. Oh, copyrighted. I don't want to get too personal with my work life and everything. But as you know, I got up at like six to do this thing. And my boss just basically gave me the feedback that like none of it was good. I'm just not looking forward to going. Like, I don't want to start crying because I'm a bad bitch. Bad bitches don't cry. But I feel like I'm going to go into the office and never hear the end of it. And then he's never going to trust me to do stuff like this again. Oh, well, I still had a fun experience. I got content that's out in the field, which is something I've been wanting to do more of. It just sucks that I got up so early. I've been standing in the cold and all this stuff. And then it's like, oh, could have been better. But that's life. You gotta take criticism. Okay, I'm home from work and I'm sweaty and I can't breathe. Turns out when you forget to vlog for two days, 
you forget to turn the camera back on. So you didn't even see where I just went. I had to do a stop at PetSmart, get the memos, some snack. I also did a drop in Ulta because I had a gift card and I needed another brow pencil. Mine's out this morning. And they only had the shade chocolate. They didn't have my shade. And that's the Anastasia Brow Wiz, I think. I forget what it's called, but it's my favorite one. It's so easy to use. And then, this is my package haul for today. I'm really behind on wrapping packages. <laughs> Y'all are not behind on sending them, let me tell you that. You've been too kind. Oh my gosh, I'm sweating. I need to put my hair up and take medicine. I forgot to take medicine this morning, so all day I've been like <laughs> But I have an update. The last time I talked to you, I was like, I had done something this morning and then the only feedback I got was like, this should be different and this should be different and you should have prepared for this. But then later in the day, I finished this graphic design piece that I've been working on for weeks and I had to learn Adobe Illustrator in order to do it. Like I've never used Illustrator before. Oh my God, why isn't this coming out of my head? So even though I didn't know the program, I took on the challenge of making this like, three page spread and I had to make like graphs and stuff and design it all cool. And today my boss turned it into the VP for advice and he didn't make a single change. I was so concerned I was gonna get that back and they'd be like, this sucks, let's have the actual graphic designer do it. But I'll be flexing on Ryan's job. I'm just proud that I took the initiative to learn a new program and I did it. I wanna take off my makeup, I just feel grody. Are you hungry? I know you are, you're always hungry. So my day pretty much flipped <laughs> from how I was feeling this morning. Kinda have to take the punches as you go. Ryan was the sweetest giving me advice. After my 90 day review, I was feeling really discouraged and he like gave me the biggest pep talk. Like everyone I work with is just so great. I need to finish editing a vlog tonight. I think I'm gonna make like zucchini spirals. Wow, I really look like a tomato. Bonnie, coming for your brand. I have been on a kick listening to the Polar Express soundtrack for the past like two days in the car. I really wanna watch the Polar Express but I don't own it and it's not on Disney Plus. And I don't even have like a service on my TV to like watch YouTube or get anything. Like I just have a TV and an HDMI cord. I might get it, does my library have it? I forgot libraries have DVDs. I don't even want to show you the trash piling up on my counter because I have to take my trash out. How come every time I turn on the camera, I just talk about needing to clean? I will never forget, there was like a whole phase on Guru Gossip. I'm gonna call her out by name. There was a whole phase on Guru Gossip where everyone just complained about how much Haley and Bookland talked about how she needed to clean her house. So now every time I talk about cleaning, I'm like, damn, Guru Gossip's gonna call me out for only talking about cleaning. Can I have a controversial opinion for a second? I might not be brave enough to post this and we'll cut this out, but I think girl gossip is fine. So listen, on booktube we don't really have a clear path to give each other constructive criticism. And I know this is gonna sound entitled, but I watch a lot of people's video- I have a light out. I know this is gonna sound entitled, but I watch a lot of people's videos and think your content would be so good if you did this. And it's not a personality thing. I just wanna give them suggestions, but we don't have a culture where you can comment and be like, hey fam, this was kinda whack, you should do this instead. Or if someone says or does something shady, we all subtweet about it or we text our group chats about it and no one actually comes at that person. And guru gossip is this way where you can have that opinion, but for the most part, I feel like a lot of guru gossip opinions are valid. And for a community of people who aren't comfortable commenting that in the person's video so that they will get a notification and see it, I don't see what's wrong with them being like, hey, this person's content is kind of whack somewhere else. That might have just sounded like I have an account and I'm on there regularly, but I don't. <laughs> I think I just get the reason why people would want to post on it, even though I have seen a lot of misinformation and it can be anxiety inducing, I get that. I just think that because there's not a place for that on Twitter or in the comments sections, like it's natural to have it in a different place and that place is guru gossip. Am I making sense? Because I feel like we're so tight-knit here that we always want to be like, we support every single booktuber, but there be some booktubers whose content I don't like. And that's not tea, that's not shade, it's just like the whole site of YouTube. Like there's YouTubers whose content I don't enjoy, and that's okay for me to say, but if I sit here and say, oh, I don't like this booktuber's content, it's nothing against them as a person. I'm not roasting, it's just a fact. And somehow that's like, Tea. I hope all that made sense. I'm just in a fever dream right now because my brain is like Are we hungry? You're not supposed to be on the counter. 
Anyway, that's enough of that. I'm gonna make some zucchini. So I attempted some zoodles. I don't know how I feel. <laughs> I'm not convinced it'll be good, so I made myself a big ass salad just in case. Okay, the score might be not accurate based on my nose not working and my taste buds not working, but let's try. I was just gonna do plain garlic noodles and then I added pasta sauce at the last minute because I thought it'd be nasty. And I didn't cut these the right length to be spaghetti. I can't have all that garlic, now Edward Cullen can't come. He went to an Italian restaurant with her their first date. I don't wanna hear it. <laughs> Cause it's really chewy, I can't like cut through it. Ew. Okay, it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be so delicious. This is just regular spaghetti that you can't cut through and that's really stringy. That actually fucking slaps. This is a Wendy's. If you like crunchy spaghetti, <laughs> it's like spaghetti with a little, a little extra something. But make sure if you do the spirals yourself, that would have been so aesthetic to get on camera that you do them smaller than I did. Do you mind? I paid $130 for this chair. I'm on my laptop doing stuff, but little miss decides to jump on me and purr and block my view. So I guess it's time for me to get up and snuggle my kitten. <laughs> so good reminder to not sit in front of your computer all day. Get up and snuggle your cat, cause she's needy. Okay friends, good news, I showered. Bad news, I accidentally took a power nap earlier and I haven't cleaned any and I haven't wrapped my presents and I haven't taken out my trash. And all my clothes are in the dryer and I'm too lazy to walk them from the dryer to my room. But on the bright side, I have a Nature Valley bar that tastes like peanut butter and chocolate. But let me to do my chores. Do your chores. No. Yes. No. Okay, we'll, we'll make frozen three if you don't do your chores. Turns out my night is pretty boring whenever I just clean and then walk around my house with no pants on. Also my camera died. But look, you can see the floor of my room. That's an improvement. I honestly might take like half an hour, even though it's my bedtime, and read a tiny bit of the book I'm in the middle of, The Afterlife of Holly Chase. It's really quick and easy. But something I gotta do is buy my subscriber a book. Let me find this thread and we are on our way. I'm gonna do two, one from yesterday, one from today. Ooh, this is from the UK. A lot of classics. This person has brain cells. They have red, white, and royal blue. I have to. There's never gonna be a situation where I'm not gonna buy someone red, white, and royal blue. It's just that good. Like, I respect people with different opinions than me about books. Like, if you hate Shatter Me, so be it. It kind of sucks. But red, white, and royal blue, to a degree, is so flawless. I think I just signed up for UK Amazon Prime because it says one day delivery. I'ma still order it though. I'ma still order it. And done. I'm gonna try my hardest to find someone who has shattered me on their wish list because I feel like that's just a good throwback. Two thousand years later. I found it! Who is this? Laurel. I missed a perfectly good opportunity to make a Yanny joke. Laurel's getting a copy of Shatter Me. I really hope they have their address plugged in so I can send this. Yes! Ugh, Laurel, we stan! Gordo stands. Okay, and we checking out. Wait, never mind, I have to type in my info one second. And the order's placed. So, we love to see her. We love to see it. We love to see you getting a present. Tomorrow morning, we are having a meet and greet for the new CEO of my company. It's the first time anyone's meeting her. That's not, like, leadership. And I'm kind of freaking out because I don't know what to wear. I don't know if my hair's gonna look good. I don't know if I'm gonna make a bad impression. So, I'm gonna get to bed pretty soon. Oh my god, it's already 11.30. I'm gonna get ready for that tomorrow, but we're also doing some fun stuff. We're painting bowls tomorrow as like a team bonding thing. Like, we're doing pottery. And I think after work, Ryan, Kristen, and I are hanging out. We're gonna go. Kristen graduates in like two weeks, and she has a bunch of meal swipes. <laughs> so she offered that we go eat with her at the dining hall so she can use up her swipes and we can get a free meal so I'm not saying no to that uh, that's what we're looking forward to tomorrow unless I forget to vlog everything in which case that doesn't matter to you hope your day was great thanks for watching bye